If we're talking about a P and P transistor, then we're going to need to slightly adjust our hybrid pi model. So we're not gonna go through the full analysis, but through similar analysis, just kind of take our word for it that you can get the small signal hybrid pi model that we're about to show. Um, but before we do that, let's look at just sort of our close up view of our PMP BJT. So the main difference of course, is that our emitter current, so our emitter terminal is down here, collector is up here, base is over here in this drawing. So our emitter current is now going into the device. So we now have some small signal emitter current I sub E, which is flowing in. We have our base current and collector currents, which are flowing out. So we have IB and IC like this. The other big difference is, of course, typically we're going to be concerned with our VEB voltage. And we're going to be concerned with our VEC voltage. So we just sort of switch our parameters around because again, our voltage polarities are kind of all backwards compared to what they are for NPN transistor. So if we take that same idea to our small signal hybrid pi model, um, all we have to do is sort of switch a couple things around. So let's start by drawing out our three terminals as we normally do. I'm gonna put my collector a little further to the right so that we can include, and let me try to get it in line with my base a little better. Uh, so that we can include our R0 for our early effect as well. So we have emitter, base, and collector. Between our emitter and our base, we still have our resistor R pi. So we still have this R pi resistance. The big difference is now that we're concerned with this VEB, our polarity is defined at the bottom. And so if we use V pi, it's going to be defined as positive at the emitter, negative at the base. And of course, we're going to have a base current which is flowing out of the base as shown here. Okay, so between our collector and emitter, we're still going to have our dependent current source, but now instead of flowing down from the collector to the emitter, it's flowing from the emitter to the collector. So it's flowing upward the way I've drawn it here. And so we can write this as GMV pi, just like we saw for our MPN case, we have a few other ways we can write this. We could write this as GMVEB. We could write this as beta IB. Sorry, lowercase IB. Okay, and then if we want to include our small signal output resistance uh, at the collector, uh, or in other words, if we want to account for our early effect, we also include our output resistance, lowercase r naught and then our collector resistance is defined as coming out of our collector IC. And then of course we can also talk about, and so I've got my polarities backwards there, we've got positive at the emitter, negative at the collector, voltage VEC. So again, overall relatively similar to what we see for our MPN case, we've just switched some polarities and some current directions.